Hello, welcome back. I have another beautiful braided ponytail hair tutorial for you today. You all love the last one so much that I was inspired to share another one. And this hairstyle is so great because it could be dressed up for bridal or special occasions, or it's just a fun way to switch up your everyday hairstyle for summer. I'll also link some other braided ponytail tutorials down below for some more hair inspiration. And let's just get started. All right, so I wanted this hairstyle to have a lot of texture and movement. So I first curled my hair with a one inch barrel and this is my go-to barrel size for most of my updos and ponytails. Now I did add hair extensions for this hairstyle. It's completely optional, but if you do add them, just apply the first weft just below ear height and then the second one at about temple height. And I wouldn't typically add them for it day to day, but they're great if you're planning on wearing this hairstyle to a more like special occasion. They'll just help with the length and the volume. Then I applied my go-to Bumble and Bumble texture spray all throughout my hair just to give it some grip and volume. It was feeling too soft and smooth, so this will really help the braids hold their shape. And then don't forget to brush through all of your product. Then a light spray of volume powder at the crown and hair prep is finished. Now begin by loosely gathering all of the hair at the crown of your head and this first step is optional but it's great for adding volume and creating a more formal look. So smooth it down with your fingers and give it a slight twist to the right and then take a bobby pin and hook the outside of your twist and secure it into place and then slide in a second pin being sure to cross it with the first and then it should feel very secure. And then you just wanna pinch and pull on small pieces of hair around your crown to add extra volume and movement. Then place your fingers at the front of your part and begin tracing about an inch down from your crown towards the back of your head. And then once you reach the back, just completely section them off. Now you wanna tie these two sections into a knot. So cross the left over the right and then pull it up and through the back, pulling it nice and tight. And then bring your two sections together. Now, I like to place a clip underneath my sections just to help prevent tangles, but it's not necessary. Then secure your two sections together with a small hair elastic. Once secure, pull on the sides to really tighten your knot and it's time for my favorite part. Hold your hair elastic with one hand and with the other, just pinch and pull small pieces of your knot to fan it out. And you can also pull on the sides to loosen them up. Now underneath your knot, there's a twist in there. It's the right section from earlier. It's tucked in there, but you want to try and pinch and pull that piece as well. And this will create almost a heart shape. Okay, so that's the pattern. So go ahead, gather another one inch wide section of hair on both sides. And I'm only using my hands to smooth down the hair, no combs. This will create that really pretty soft texture. Then tie your two sections together into a knot the same way. So left over the right, pull it up and through nice and tight so it sits just below your previous knot. Then secure your two pieces together and the best part, fan out your knots. And you can see better on this second one where that twist is. So be sure to pull it out as well to create that heart shape. Just helps add extra movement to the hairstyle. Okay, how pretty is this? You can definitely leave it here as a half up hairstyle or keep repeating the pattern down as far as you like. Now I created two more knots stopping once I reached the nape of my neck. Now I didn't intend on stopping here and sharing this as a ponytail but I thought it looked so pretty and it's a little easier especially on the arms so if you want to stop here just gather all of your remaining hair and secure it into a low ponytail. Now I forgot I had hair extensions in and I used a small hair elastic so the whole time I was just hoping it wouldn't break and thankfully it didn't. But once it's secure, just wrap a small piece of hair around your elastic and slide a bobby pin through the back of it and this will help cover it up. Now for a perkier ponytail, just add some more volume powder at the base and there you have it. I love how this looks as a ponytail. I think the braided detailing is so unique and beautiful. Now, if you're feeling up for it and you want to keep going and braid your hair all the way down, it's just the same pattern. So gather two sections from the side of your ponytail tie them into a knot and then secure them together. And just repeat this as far down your ponytail as you can. 
Now to finish it off, I just tied one last section together and I secured the end at the back of my ponytail instead of the front. So there we have it. What did you think? I really love this hairstyle and I'm so excited to see your recreations. But if you liked today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will post pictures of the final looks over on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.